Hi, this is Jeff Labor with Inspire Fitness. I'm here with Rick, and we're gonna go for a quick workout here on the Inspire FT2. We're also gonna show you a couple of cool little features. Now what's great about the Inspire FT2 is it's an eight pull point functional trainer with a built-in selectorized Smith machine. But let me show you some of the benefits of functional training. One of the beautiful things about functional training is this, is that the only limiting factor is your imagination. So the more creative you are, the more exercises you can do. For example, I can step in here and go right from a chest press to an incline press to a decline press right to a fly. So as you can see, I can go from one exercise to the next very quickly and easily. Now Rick, hop in here. Let's go through a few different exercises. As you can see, Rick is here doing a standing chest press. And the benefit of doing a standing chest press on a functional trainer is the fact that he has to engage more muscle groups. You'll see he's engaged his legs, his core, his shoulders, his chest, and the back of his arms. He's working about 80% of his body doing one exercise. Now what Rick can do is right from there, he can open up and go right into a fly. So he's now changing the way he's working that chest, a little different movement, but he's gone right from a chest press right into a fly. Now from there, Rick can actually take, bring his hands in again, nice and close like he's gonna do a press, but he's gonna press up towards, the, up towards his foreheads, just like this. So now he's gonna do more of a, an incline press. Now he's gonna press downward and work more of the bottom of his chest or a decline press. Now, what's beautiful about this is Rick can go right from this decline press, he can set the weights down. So set down the weights, Rick. Turn around, face towards the unit now. Grab those same two handles, step out a little bit, one or two steps, and now pull those towards you like you're doing a row. So now he's working his back. So what, what we've done is we've not done one adjustment and he's done six different exercises. So as you can see, it's quick to go from one exercise to the next. Now, the FT1 offers full functional training capabilities. Now, if you want more information about our functional trainer and the way the FT2 can work, refer to our FT1 video. But let me show you some of the other cool features that the FT2 has to offer. Now, what you're gonna see is we have this red bar here. This red bar here allows us to take and we're gonna disengage it, rotate it down, and we're gonna drop it right down onto these safeties. Now, once we've dropped the bar down onto the safeties, we have these two little red tabs here. We are gonna take this red tab and we're gonna slide it over onto these chrome hooks. And we're gonna do that on both sides. And what we're doing is we're actually hooking the weight stacks right to this bar. Now this is one of the most unique things you're ever going to see. There's no other Smith machine on the market that can do this. Now one of the big benefits is this. Because I don't have to have free weights on the outsides of my bar, I'm gonna save space. The other benefit is when I go to change weight, I'm using these weight stacks here. I don't have to take weights on and off, so my efficiency in workout goes way up. And the last thing that I have here is how safe it is. I don't have to worry about taking weights on and off and possibly dropping them on my foot. Here, I'm just selecting a weight stack so it's very quick and easy. And now what I'm gonna have Rick do is I'm gonna have him here do a squat here on the selectorized Smith machine. So Rick, go ahead and step in here. And what we're gonna actually do is rotate that bar Go ahead and go to another squat position and go ahead and rotate it back. It's gonna lock into place and now go and do your squat. Now what you're gonna find is, is it's extremely safe. So if Rick gets into a, a, a position where he can't finish the movement, what he has to do is he can continue to rep it out and then go ahead and set it down, Rick. Just like this, he's gonna set it down and just step right out. And what you can see, we've got the safeties in there preset. So Rick didn't even have to actually move the bar, rehook it, he just sets it down when if he gets tired and walks away from the Smith machine. Now here's another really nice thing. I can take wheel our bench in just like this, and now I'm gonna be able to do some bench presses. So I'm gonna wheel it in, set it right against our little bench stop there. So what we've done is we've wheeled the bench in, and what's great is we can either do a bench press or we're gonna have Rick do an incline press for us here. So Rick, why don't you go ahead and lay down for me? I'm gonna have you go ahead and grab this bar here. And we're gonna go ahead and rotate the bar, bring it right down to our chest, and we're gonna go ahead and lock it into place, just like that. Now go ahead and press for me. So now what you're gonna see is Rick's working the upper part of the chest and the back of his arm. But again, we have safety. So if Rick gets tired, he can just go ahead and set it down. So Rick, go ahead and set it down in your chest, and look, he's got clearance, he's safe. Now. Here's one of the greatest features of the FT2, is this right here. Let's say Rick wants a little bit more weight. He's maxed out those weight stacks and he's ready for a little bit more. On the sides here, we have this little chrome hook. All I have to do is take, hook this cable up here. I'm gonna walk around here and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just like this. What I've just done is doubled the weight. 
So now when Rick goes to do that same exercise, go ahead and press for me, Rick. It's a little heavier now, isn't it? It is. So what we've just done is doubled the weight that he had on the weight stack. So it's a weight multiplier. Now, Rick, let's go ahead and set this down. Uh, what I'm gonna have you do is rotate that bar, bring it right back up and lock it into place, and go ahead and step up for me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few other things that we can do on this FT2. So Rick's gotten a little bit of a workout, it's my turn now. So I'm gonna step in here, I'm gonna take these two handles, and I'm gonna do a little bit of back work. So I'm gonna bring this up nice and high, just like this. I'm gonna get this bar out of my way. So I'm bringing the bar, disconnecting it, bring it right back up, it's out of my way now. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab these two handles. Now I've got a nice pull down exercise. So as you can see, what's great about this is, I can pull and pull wide, so I can change the angle of pull. If you watched our FT1 video, you'll notice we can do a regular pull up, which is what we can do here. You can do a wide grip pull down, or here, because of these additional pulleys, I can do a great narrow to wide pull down. Now, these same handles can be taken and brought to the lower positions we have back here. We have four pulleys that are down here. I can hook these straps right to those pulleys. I'm gonna take, drop this seat down. Now I have a great seated low row. Now you can see it, it's coming from a narrow position. There's a great seated low row there. We can also do some bicep curls from here as well. Now, the last and probably one of the coolest features of the FT2 is this. I'm now gonna take, I'm gonna bring these cables from the back here. I'm gonna hook it right onto these little hooks here in the front. You see how we've got these little hooks here? These hooks hook on just like this. I go under the pulley. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Hook on the hook here, go right underneath this pulley here. Now I've got a leg extension leg curl using the weight section. So now what I have Rick do is do our leg extension leg curl. Rick, have a seat here for me. Step right in. We're gonna wrap those legs up and over and around, beautiful, and go and extend your legs. And what you'll see now is Rick's actually doing the leg extension. He's not having to use free weights. He's using the weight stacks that are right on the sides of him. So it makes it more like a machine type leg extension. Now, the FT2 offer also offers a lying leg curl. Now, the FT2, if you need more information, please check out the Inspire website at inspirefitness.com. If you have any other questions or information, you can always contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or any of our social media outlets. Thank you very much. We enjoyed the workout, and Rick, let's finish this off. Sounds good.